Welcome everyone to my channel Space Remote Sensing and GIS and today we will going to discuss some very important topics over flood analysis. <coughs> okay, so uh, very recently in, in Dubai there is a flood. We all know about it. Okay, so how we are actually going to identify in those particular flooded area? Okay, so like wherever there is a water is actually stuck. So let's see uh, the process. Okay. So first I will show you uh, the results, okay, so these are the areas, okay, so if you see uh, these are the uh, most of those areas which is actually uh, there is a flood, okay, so if you see uh, this is I already extracted, okay, so this is I already extracted which is flood, okay, so if you compare with this previous image, okay, satellite image, so which is the flooded image, okay, so if you see here this is the flooded image and this is a pre-flood image okay so this is pre-flood satellite image this is landsat image landsat eight, and this is the uh, post-flood uh, landsat image okay so using these two i will just extract this flooded layer this is the flooded layer okay so how we will do it okay, so that is the process which i will going to show you today so now uh, if uh, i have the two image okay one is the before flood and one is the after flood <coughs> so let's open these two images so I am just uh, going to show you this two image I have, one is this a before flood. So I am just going to uh, select this particular image in TL.txt file. Okay, so as you all know this is a uh, raster product file, okay, which can directly stack. Similarly, I will open the another image which is after flood image, okay. And that also I will open the same mtx file okay so this is also raster file. so before and after so see here so before and this is the after uh, flight so now if you may see uh, in this uh, you may difficult to identify the water pixels okay so like wherever there is a flood so there is own options like you can change the band combinations like there is a band combinations which you call as a, a short wave infrared band combination so usually we, we select the short wave infrared uh, infrared and green okay so if you just do this combination so see whatever the blue areas are there so those are your actually the flooded area this is the stacked water area so when just simply changing the band combination you can highlight this thing so now the next thing is how i am going to extract directly this particular uh, areas which is are underwater okay so now the best way to do is that here uh, in rgs pro we have one tool okay so if you go here this is called change direction tool if you take this change direction tool so in this uh, we can just need to apply a proper process to extract this okay so how to do that see here this is a pixel value change options will be there so now i am going to concentrate on the pixel value only okay and this is the two image one is before image and one is after image that you need to give here as i put. so first image which i am going to use it here that is 23 image okay so that i am giving it here so that is january image so this is my january image and this is my april so because this flood is happening in 72 24th april mostly so i am just going to give that uh, as particular date okay the form raster and the two raster two is your april month okay so now the next thing which you have to do is you can simply go to the next okay and in the next options you see this a band differences will be there so what I will do, uh, there is a single band options will be there and we have the band index options. So I am going to select simply the band indexing. So in band indexing, there is a different way uh, we can do the indices and we just target the objects. Okay. So here there is one tool, uh, there is one indices which you call as a NMDI, okay, MNDWI. So that is <coughs> water indices. Okay. So you can simply select the water indices and see it will going to affect over the both the images of our the pre flood and the post flood okay so automatically this will be adjusted okay now the next is how we will going to implement this uh, technique like simply i will go with the next okay so here the classified image options will be there you just check off this classified difference values okay and then simply click on the next okay and this is your output okay so this is your my final outputs so now you see if I just simply click on run. So what it will going to do, it will going to extract the water area, okay, from this particular change pixels. Like uh, uh, from this two image, wherever there is a uh, water will stack. So that is my target, okay. So that area which is uh, which is changed in this two periods of time. So that will be your targeting. 
so that's what it is showing it here if you see whatever the white pixels if you are seeing here so those are your white pixels if you see here those white pixels are your actually the flood area so if i zoom little bit now you can get an idea on this so suppose you see here this is my uh, changed area means which is the stack water area so if i see here you can see those are your changed water area okay so it is very easily you can identify this so here if you take this raster okay and then to, to tell this swipe tool and you can able to see this thing also and if you want to do the transparency okay and you can see the changes so that you can understand so see here okay so how how this is exactly matched with your flood area okay so now uh, this is the process you can very easily identify your target area okay and now you just need to extract so extractions i'm not going to show you that because i already have a previous lecture how to extract this that the target area but here i am using our separate techniques which i just tell you what i did actually so if you see here uh, from this image okay so target image what i did i use it uh, to one simple classification i did so as it is uh, this pixels is not uh, coming under 65000 pixel value so directly you can't do unsupervised classifications there is some some kind of error it is coming so what i thought i just simply uh, check the pixel value of this particular uh, uh, target value so, okay like this is my target value okay and if i go here and uh, see uh, all time this value will be high okay so whatever this areas will be there i will just going to collect uh, the water samples as a flood flood uh, flood samples and other area i will just uh, going to convert as a non flood area okay so uh, that's what we i actually did okay so if you see here uh, under this particular image id there is one options called tool classifications okay so if you see here uh, in this uh, classification wizards which is actually a uh, deactivated means you need to select this then only it will activate it so this is the classification widget okay so and if you see here once i click this classification tool so you will get this segmentation training sample manager and classifier so you need to go with the training sample manager okay so you see here i already created a uh, flooded and non flooded so how we going to create so this is the schema tab so what i do first i create a new schema okay so if you don't click this new schema so then it will not come so is my previous video you will see i will just click a new schema otherwise that by default schema has come okay so i will just click on this as a new schema so i give the schema name as a flood and and once i did that how i will add in this flood in a non flood area simply just right clicking on this you see here there is a add add a new collection so in there add new classes so first classes i just created two classes here one is the flood the is not flood so once i click the flood it so i will select the flood area okay and then using this tool okay and you see i am just taking samples of all the flooded stack area okay and like that i have taken almost 52 samples and select the samples you see here if i uh, discard the samples so all my flooded area samples are will come okay and if you want to merge it again so simply you just select it okay go down and select the shift can select all and remerge it again. similarly you see i taken the lot of non flooded area samples also okay and using this two samples first i will save the samples okay so i can save the samples also i can save the schema also both i can save so once you done this saving now what you need to do you need to go with this this next tool called classify tool okay so the classify tool i am using here the support vector machine classification which is a giving a better results or in the supervised classification accuracy okay so i will just simply select this support vector machine classifications it will create the training samples over here over the more than 500 okay and then output whatever i want to save so one thing you have to do is the segmented uh, that image means uh, the classified image which i just uh, make na so that i need to give here as a input that is the thing which you need to do it over here okay so this is the image classification schema and whatever uh, i have this uh, schemas okay so that schema i have to save it over here okay and then simply click on it okay and then i just click on run once i click this run i will get this classified image okay so this is my first classified image so you see here if i just click on this so here what i did uh, just this is a non flooded area na so i will just make this color as a no color so i can see this is my uh, the flooded area it is matched 
So once I did, uh, I understand this is will actually match. The next thing what you need to do is go to the geo processing tool, and I can simply convert this raster to polygon. Okay, so once I convert it in raster to polygon, okay. So I will just get this raster uh, thing. Okay, so this is our my raster thing. Okay, so if you see here, there is two. These are the raster things. So if you just right click and open attributes, so you will see all the grid codes is actually your target. Okay, so that means here once you extracted this now during the extractions, what you need to do is you see here, this is the total image. Okay, so this is the total image. Okay, and what I need to do see Z zero is your non-target area one. So sorry, target area and one is your suppose uh, flooded area, non-flooded area. And zero is your flooded area. Okay, so if I want to select the, all the zeros together, so you see here I select by attributes tools I used, and see grid code is equal to zero. That is the formula which I typed. Simply click on apply. So all the flooded pixels will be uh, selected. Now you just right click, go to the data and export the features. So whatever you want to save this, so that will save, and that is the final file which I just extracted. and that is how all the stacked water area which will come out okay so this is a very simple process uh, which you can apply and you can uh, very easily target uh, uh, the particular uh, flood area flood uh, or something sudden rainfall will happen if you want to see the changes okay so then you, this is a very good tool for that and if i i check the sentinel one the radar images also but that this particular date particular location so radar image is not available so if that available then there is a direct tool options will be there and so also in this to uh, if you go in the geo processing tools okay so under this uh, sar uh, you have options okay like uh, direct directly extracted the water area so you can do that also for uh, doing this analysis like under this sar synthetic aperture radar okay so you see here uh there is uh, uh there is something yeah extract water okay this tool so it can directly extract the water area from the sand pages okay so that's all uh, from my side so if you like this will be a useful tool for any kind of flood analysis if you want to do so then please uh, follow this and if you like this video please share with the others also thank you so i hope uh, this video is actually very much helpful to all thank you thank you all so please share this video to all and uh, please give likes and comments okay for more videos thank you thank you very much